Welcome to nonstopneuron.com, where learning medical concepts is as easy as watching cartoons. In this video we will see the mechanism by which vasopressin, which is also called antidiuretic hormone, increases water reabsorption. Let's get started. The main site for this action is the collecting duct in the kidney. So let's zoom into it. This is an epithelial cell. This is the interstitium. And this is the lumen of the collecting duct. Here, the interstitium is hyperosmolar. Or in simple words, water concentration is low in the interstitium as compared to that in the lumen. This osmotic gradient favors water reabsorption from lumen into the interstitium. This movement occurs by aquaporin-2 on the apical membrane and aquaporin-3 and 4 on the basolateral membrane. Aquaporin-3 and 4 are always present abundantly on the basolateral membrane. So they are always ready to transport whatever quantity of water is there inside the cell. But the limiting factor for the reabsorption is the quantity of aquaporin-2 on the apical membrane. In absence of vasopressin, there are minimal aquaporins on the apical membrane, and most of them are stored on the membrane of the vesicle, inside the cell. Here they don't play any role in water reabsorption. Now, let's see how vasopressin increases water reabsorption here. The vasopressin binds with its V2 receptor, located at the basolateral membrane. This receptor is a GS-coupled receptor. It acts via the CAMP pathway and results in the activation of certain proteins. These proteins cause exocytosis of the vesicle, resulting in the insertion of these aquaporins into the apical membrane. This increases water transport at the apical membrane. So, more water enters the cell. The cell already has abundant aquaporins on the basolateral membrane. So increased water entry at the apical membrane automatically results in increased water exit at the basolateral membrane. Thus, the water reabsorption is increased. In this way, more water is reabsorbed till needed. Once we have enough water, the vasopressin level decreases, and the process is reversed. Aquaporins come back inside the cell, and water reabsorption reduces. So this is how vasopressin increases water reabsorption. In summary, vasopressin increases the expression of aquaporin-2 on the apical membrane, which in turn increases water reabsorption. That's it for this video. You can find notes and explore our entire animation video library on our website. The links are in the description. If you liked this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues too. And don't forget to subscribe because lots more to come. At Nonstop Neuron, learning medical concepts is as easy as watching cartoons. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.